because our next bit of news is the casting for Go Go Loser Ranger has been revealed and it's got two Sentai alumni in it. Number one is uh, Yuchi Nakamura is playing Red Keeper. He plays Beat J Stag. Stag Buster. Uh, I love Go Busters, so this is fantastic. Number two, Mao, Mayo, M A O, is playing Pink, Pink Keeper, and it <laughs> M A O Mao is playing Pink Keeper, and she is played by Luca Milfi, Go Kai Yellow herself. <laughs> Let's go! Yes, also Raptor and one of, oh, uh, a Wash Pig is the same one. Yeah, Raptor as well. I've been seeing a lot of people saying that, like, they could have got a lot more Sentai actors, which is true. They could have got a lot more Sentai actors. I hope when this gets dubbed in English, one, either Red Keeper or the main guy, I don't, I don't remember his name. I hope either of them is played by Johnny Young Bosch, but two, probably the whole team could be. Power Ranger actors, and I think that would be really funny. Daniel Southworth would be amazing as well. Daniel Southworth as Red Keeper, fantastic. Um, because as far as I understand, he's like he's like the homelander of this whole thing. Uh, the suits are dope. I this is the one manga that I'm like, I really wanted to read, but I'm gonna wait for the anime on this one. Uh, just because this and kaiju number nine come out, kaiju number eight, one of the kaiju numbers come out next year very pretty recently i think this comes out in like april or something so i'm like oh dope i can i can cover those two on the channel as animes and i like covering things not being like well i know everything because i read the manga uh the manga i'm currently reading is has no anime in sight so that's why we're doing it if it gets a dub we need a whole cast to be previous rangers that's what i think would be sick is if you get actual power ranger actors to do it um and i think Besides Johnny Obosh and Daniel Southworth, I can't think of like many other. Christina V, you could probably get. She's a hyperforce. Um, I can't think of many other Ranger actors that are like very prominent in in terms of voice acting. I think you could probably just ask them, and any Power Ranger actor would be like, I would absolutely like to be in more stuff. Um, this also got a trailer. It's in Japanese. I don't know. I don't think it has English. Let's see if we can auto translate it to English. Uh, but I've avoided this as well, so we're gonna watch this. Looks really fun, but I'm sick of every short being like, this ain't your baby's Power Rangers anymore. <laughs> this ain't your baby's Power Rangers. This ain't your grandmother's Mean Girls. Dude, this is such a fire suit. I've I haven't seen this one yet. I've seen like Red Keeper and the, the main team on like the covers and stuff. I have not seen the green one. And this is obviously supposed to be like the sixth ranger in this. With the mouth, fire, absolute fire. Dragon keepers. That was badass. Did you see the dragon come down? Instead, I'm out of content. Same. Same, Dragon Keepers. Dude, 
私と決めて社会貢献こそが大戦隊の礎です Dude, this is the sickest, like, cannon. Where'd it go? Where'd this cannon shot go? I love that they're like, let's just give them a big ass dragon to shoot stuff out of. There it is. You guys saw it. <laughs> they have a team cannon. It's so cool. You think we're going to get the helmets for these guys IRL? Also, 3D looks kind of ass. I think people will probably 3D print them very easy. I probably next year at anime conventions, you'll see. Someone do this, if not like a whole team. People that usually cosplay as Power Rangers, I bet you one of those groups will do this whole team as of the Dragon Keepers. I'm very excited for this. One, because I think the animation is just fire. This and Kaiju number eight have super sick animation and already gets me excited for it, even without seeing like a dubbed version of it. Um, but two, because people keep like talking it up and telling me how sick it looks or how good the manga is. And I'm like, good, finally. Finally. Plus, I just like like Tokusatsu inspired anime. The uh Oh, Miss Karitsuku from the Miss Karitsuku or Miss Karitsu from the Monster Development Department, I think is a fantastic manga or uh sorry, anime about tokusatsu style stuff, and I just want more stuff that's like actual tokusatsu. I get that every anime that does this kind of genre thing wants to be like it's like tokusatsu but with a twist. Real quick, with a twist, but also with a twist. And like, Food Up the Eye is probably the only one that doesn't do that. And I want more anime that's not afraid to just be a tokusatsu or a Henshin Hero style thing. I'll watch it, but if the first episode isn't able to pull me, I'm dropping it. It'll probably only get like 12 episodes in the first year. So, Red Steel's voice actor, Blue Yoshi or Peter, Green Johnny Young Bosch, Pink Gia's actress, and Yellow. I don't know. Why would Pink be Gia's actress and not Yellow? Uh, but yeah, that's Go Go Lose Ranger. I believe it's coming out in April. If it says it somewhere, nope, it's not saying it anyway. Did it say it at the end? Did I miss it? 2024. I thought it was said April somewhere. I don't know why. Barely watch any things anymore, so I'll keep keep it to retweeting cool fight scenes on Twitter. Tokusatsu, but it's not a tokusatsu. Yeah, like anime tokusatsu. <laughs> there is an SH fight figure arts of Kaiju number eight. I thought it looked badass. Figure arts are getting increasingly harder not to buy. Have you seen uh, the trailer for the Yu Yu Hawk show live action? Injected into my veins. I need it now. I, I'm just going to go radio silent as soon as that comes out. I'm watching every single episode all the way through. Just pop, 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 pop.